Mr. Van, we'll get started here once we get some hands raised. And we will start with Ira Winderman. Ma'am, this was another one of those games when there was a lot from a lot of different people. There was a 22 point effort, a 20, a 21 from Duncan. You had 19, uh, Dre had 10, Trevor had 10. Is that something you guys like to see that it's coming from a lot of places and there's a lot of contributions and, and really doing it collectively when maybe other teams have to rely on just one or two guys? Man, that's what make our games fun, you know, for everybody, you know. Uh, me and Jimmy are unselfish, and we're all unselfish. We all want uh, everybody to score. Like I cursed uh, Gabe Vincent out in the corner when the shot clock was on and down. You know, uh, it's one of those things where we we want to enjoy each other's success. And then when you look at guys like Duncan and Tyler, they're sort of cast as supporting players here, just sort of based on the hierarchy. But it seems like when they get it going it really helps fuel the machine. And they've done it now during the throughout the winning streak. How important is it, their consistent contributions? Uh, really important. Like I said, we enjoy each other's success. So, you know, they was in shooting slumps and they're out of them. So uh, we, uh, we're up and going and uh, trying to keep this thing going. Thank you. There we have Anthony Cheng next. Hey Bam, I know Vic was limited by foul trouble today, but what was it like there to be? What was it like to be out there with him, um, especially defensively, just having another defender who could switch onto onto different positions? Uh, it always makes it easier when you have an extra defender out there. So uh, being able to switch everything it kind of erases any uh, any opponent's type of off offensive flow, just because they can't get the right triggers they want to get. So you know it's good for him to be out there. You know I'm happy he's here. And uh, I feel like he's going to enjoy the season. All right, next we go to Mark Medina with USA Today. Hey, Bam, good to see you. I, I got a random question here. I'm just trying to ask different teams uh, about fans and any favorite memories. Do you have a favorite story, whether it was like an interaction or a specific game? And if so, what's that story? Uh, well, I did this thing for a, a, a fan. She, uh, she beat breast cancer twice. So uh, I got a custom pair of, of shoes made for who was playing Cleveland. My, it was last year, it was playing Cleveland. And that's when we had the all pink jerseys. And she really liked flamingos. So like the shoe had her name and a bunch of flamingos on it. And uh, that was the second time I had went 100% from the field and from the line in my career. And she was, she was at the game, so that's that's my fan moment. Next, we go to Wes Lammy. What's up, Bam? Bam, obviously you guys were you guys were swarming on defense, forcing them into twenty seven um, turnovers there. But overall, uh, what did it mean, obviously, just to see you have that balance there, offensively and defensively? Uh, it just shows a little capable of, man. You know, able to clamp down and also you know, score and, and, and have fun, honestly. Uh, you know, I felt like we were sharing the ball really well tonight and we was getting stops. Um, next, we go to Barry Jackson. Hi, Bam. What, what do you like about what Trevor has given you and how have you enjoyed the experience so far playing alongside him? Uh, Trevor gives us a, a, another defender, obviously, and, and a three-point shooter, but the, th the thing I like about Trevor, you know, he's he's 17 years in, and you know, he's still he's still willing to buy into a system, and you know, just just give to the team. You know, it's, he's he's selfless, and you know, he's a down to earth dude. And uh, you know, I've had a couple conversations with him, and uh, you know, he he's he's moving out of my rankings and uh and teammates that I that I like. And how tough is it to win while incorporating new players? You all have obviously done that this week. Uh, I, I don't think it's that hard because we, we share the ball. We're unselfish. And, uh, you know, we curse them out if they don't if they don't take shots. So you, you get adapted really quick to, you know, our type of offensive flow. We like to run, get out, sprint. And, uh, you know, on the other end, we just ask you to give 100% effort and communicate. Uh you know, the plays, you can figure out the plays later, but 
you know, being incorporated in this system, it's really uh, really easy to figure out things when, you know, we, we want you to be aggressive. We want you to have fun. We want you to share the ball. We want you to enjoy other people's success. And we want you to lock up. You know, that's pretty pretty simple formula when, you, when you're getting incorporated with us. Thanks. All right, next we'll go to Mark Haynes with Clutch Points. How's it going, man? Congrats on the win. Um, it was a little chirping early in the game with you and Draymond. Just wanted to know how much respect do you have for him as a competitor? Uh, a lot. Just because he's one of those dudes, man. He uh, once you get him going, you know, and he started talking, it doesn't stop. So, uh, you know, I I got great respect for the man. You know, uh, he's one of those guys. He he does all the little things that help you win that don't show up in the textbook, I mean, the stat sheet, or uh, until you watch the film. So uh, just, just uh, you know, sometimes you got to realize, like, you're going back and forth with a, with a three-time champ. <laughs> but uh, I was just trying to get him out of his, uh, his free throw routine, you know, just trying to manipulate the game. We made the free throw, but. If you watch the tape later on, he was like, man, I always do that. And I was like, man, I was just trying to make you miss the free throw. I don't really care if you do it or not. All right, next we go to Brady Hawk. Hey, Ben. When you're placed in those lineups without Jimmy and Victor um, early in the fourth, do you feel you just had it going at that point in the game, or are you realizing, you know, times in the fourth when to be aggressive, when not to be? Uh, I don't think it's really a, a – you know, Aggressive, not be aggressive type of thing. Um, you know, coach always says whenever the ball is in my hands, I'm live. So, you know, sometimes uh, you got to look at the flow of the game. If Duncan hit two threes, I'm going to Duncan. If Tyler hit two threes, I'm going to Tyler. And, uh, you know, if I get a couple buckets and I get going, everybody tell me to keep going. So it's kind of the flow of the game. Our next we'll go to Cristo Saltas. Hello, Bam. Congratulations on the win. What did you see from uh, Victor's debut tonight and what he brings on the court? And also, what did you change as a team in the last three games and especially in the fourth quarter's effort? Uh, I think I seen Victor tonight. He was hacking everybody. And I was like, hey, man, you, you got more fouls than points. Like, what are we doing? We, we either, either we're going to foul or we're going to play. But, uh, <clears throat> You know, just joking around with them. But the team, the team in the fourth quarter, you know, we've been really good on executing plays and uh, getting stopped. Thank you. All right, All right Bam. Thank you. Thank you.